Ladies and gentlemen, I can't no more. I can't do this, okay? I'm from Denmark. Now, if you're new on the channel, I don't live in Denmark. I live in Austria. But I'm from Denmark, born and raised, okay? It's 86 degrees. It's 86 degrees Fahrenheit, 30 degrees Celsius, wherever you're from. That's warm. I'm a Viking. I'm a Norseman. I cannot... Uh, I can't do this. My face is red. I'm red. Okay, I look like a lobster. You know I always have the head on. I can't even put the head on. It's too, it's too warm. It's too warm. We can't keep doing this. We can't keep doing this, man. Like, we got 76 degrees Fahrenheit. That's... That's perfect. 77, maybe. That's amazing. That's a day in the summer. But this is too much, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I've never been more serious when I've said, go get yourself something to drink. And sit back, relax, and let's react, because we got Mr. Beast Mode on the track. Not on the track. He's not about to rap. I don't think so, at least. But... Man, bro, if you don't get off my screen, y'all can't see that, but it says my virus something something expired. Gotta get that redone. Re I don't even know, man. It's too warm. Let's get straight into the video. This is Mr. Beast. We gave every family in a village a full year's salary. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's react. This is a thousand dollars in cash. And yeah. if you suddenly came across this kind of money, no strings attached, what would you spend it on? I'll tell you, Mr. Beast, air condition. Oh, I just realized. Wait, I forgot. I forgot to turn the lights on. See, my 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 brain don't work. I've been fried. Wait. There we go. I don't even know if it made a difference, but like, yeah, I, I'd spend it on air condition, Mr. Beast. Call me a bad human being. That's what I'll do. I'll go get it right now. I will stop this re. I will stop this reaction and go get it right now. Please send help. Send help, ladies and gentlemen. They are put on display so that we can. No strings attached. Let's see. What would you spend it on? They are put on display so that we can choose the clothing we need and want. Well, for hundreds of thousands of people in rural Uganda, this money would be used differently. Most of yeah. these people live off of as little as one or two dollars a day, meaning getting an education. That is crazy. Imagine that. One dollar a day. That wouldn't even give you a that wouldn't even get you a pack of oodles and noodles. That is that is crazy, bro. And people live off of as little as one or two dollars a day. Meaning getting an education, starting a business, receiving adequate health care, or even electricity is nearly impossible. So I guess the solution is simple, right? Why don't we just give them the money? But on second thought, giving thousands of dollars to people who have never experienced that kind of money before yeah. is extremely irresponsible. So yeah. when an organization... That's what a lot of people got to think about. Like, a lot of people think that, oh, yeah, well, why haven't we saved Africa? Which, I mean, that is a huge debate. Don't even get me started on that. Like, because could we have saved Africa? Could we have done more? Probably. I don't know, though. Um, I'm no expert on that, but he's very, very like a lot of people don't think about like, oh, well, can't we just send like a billion dollars and give every single family down there? So you can't, it's, it's just not that simple. It's just not that simple. There's so many things that come into play. Like it's, it's really just not that simple. Never experienced that kind of money before is extremely irresponsible. So when an organization reached out to us to help them do just that, we knew we had to fly over and find out more. Uganda is a beautiful country and is filled with some incredible people. But when I first got approached by Give Directly about this program, my initial reaction was this was a terrible idea. I thought that giving an entire year's worth of income to people that were living in extreme poverty sounded like it was a recipe for disaster. Yeah. Give Directly uses a strict selection process to identify villages. It's kind of like, you see, you actually see it in our world too, like in the Western world, like... You hear so many stories about everyday normal working people like um and then they win in the lottery and 24 hours later they end up like the police find them dead from drug overdoses or like whatever like it's just extremely hard to like go from having let's say 
a salary of like a thousand or two thousand dollars a month i don't even know if i've put that high or low like to all of a sudden have 10 million dollars you know just like that you didn't even work for it it just came like that it i think i think it does something to you like is oh money is dangerous money can be really really dangerous Villages most for disaster. Gim directly uses a strict selection process to identify villages most in need and signs up every single family. Okay. They then provide the recipients with a mobile phone and they create a unique PIN number. The money is then sent to their SIM card so they can transact directly or go to a nearby outlet and use their PIN to withdraw cash from a mobile money agent. The limited work opportunities in the community has made it extremely difficult for the villagers to support their families. One of these yeah. people is Paul. I have a wife, two kids. This is why I'm staying. My family is eating a day once. That's what we eat once, supper time. Those are the challenges we are facing. If Paul had more money, he would not only invest in starting a business in the area, but also ensure that he and his kids can get a proper education. Stuff like that is, is so sad, because like when you think about it, like even when I think about myself, like we just we don't really appreciate what we have like for real i don't want to get all sentimental on you guys but like think about how much food we waste and stuff like that and then you have him sitting there say they can eat once a day once a day that's all you get crazy and starting a business in the area but also ensure that he and his kids can get a proper education my aim is to to get that st certificate of senior for Maybe that life, my life somehow improving from that part. People living in extreme poverty are very limited. Most of their days taken up by menial tasks and they cannot break themselves out of the cycle of poverty that they are stuck into. A year ago, this was the reality for Tian and Lokra. The kids had dropped out of school and finding work in the area was extremely difficult for them. But after receiving a donation from Give Directly, their lives changed entirely. They use the money to buy land in the area and have now started cultivating their own crops. That is amazing. They also bought a grain mill and are now processing grain for the entire community and earning a small profit. They are now using those profits to open up a store in their house. And on top of that, Lokere has now started a refueling station in the village. This is a great example of what this program does because it fuels an economy that allows them to build businesses. But still somewhat skeptical about the... This is, this is amazing. And like, also like, look at, look at these living conditions though. Like, and then we wonder why there is immigration. Like, the worst thing is a lot of these people probably can't even immigrate. And I'm saying a lot of things that a lot of people might get mad at. And hey, if that's the case, hey, come fight me, bro. Fight me. <laughs> like, nah, but this is like, I just, it's so, I always like, when I watch stuff like this, I just, I try to put myself in their shoes and it's just impossible, obviously. Like, I just, I, you can. An economy that allows them to build businesses. But still somewhat skeptical about the idea of direct cash, we want to better understand the benefits this would have over more traditional forms of assistance. So we met with Silvesto, a local Give Directly field officer. I'm from this community working in Karamoja. I have grown up here and I was born here. Personally, okay. my story, when I was uh, growing up, I was in school. So it happened that when I reached uh, secondary education, my parents couldn't get money to pay for me going forward so they had to sell our home for me to go to school and to me that is like selling my dreams to selling my experiences and that poverty is the most difficult poverty the poverty of dreams when i joined give directly i realized that it's really different a lot different from the charities i have worked with before give directly we give cash when cash goes to a community even business in that community is boosted this cash enables them to go for their needs to pursue them People are stuck in poverty, not because of lack of effort or lack of capability. They are stuck in poverty because of lack of opportunity. One of these people is Joseph, the chief of the village. Some people are owning their land very far. So you need this also to get some money. And you go and get a land somewhere or you buy. Then these grass houses, the termites also can eat the grass very fast. 
can yeah. not last uh, for long. And again, next year, the same thing. You destroy, then you make him repair, you repair, you repair. But housing is only one of the many problems the village faces. Hunger, poverty, and lack of education are serious setbacks for the entire community. Yeah, I In addition only to the burden of leading his village, Joseph's... You know what I just realized? I should have I should have done this differently. I'm so sorry. I'm doing this as if we're reacting to a song. I should have made, like, the video right here, the whole screen, and then put me, like, up in the corner but hey that's too late now but my bad man my bad can i actually maybe maybe i can make it a bit bigger though whoop and then put myself here that works right my bad guys suffers from serious health complications Wait, let's go back. in addition to the burden of leading his village joseph suffers from serious health complications a few years ago he had a stroke which left him debilitated and because he has no money he's unable to buy the medicine he needs to remain stable their living is really very hard. I don't know whether I can survive. I don't know really because now a stroke is a difficult disease. However, I don't know. Everybody here has their own unique needs. And what we've realized is that the best way to help these people move towards a better future is by empowering them to make the best decision for themselves and their families. Of so course. we have decided to commit to helping give directly provide cash grants to 300 families in this village and surrounding areas that will help them build their future. So while the Give Directly team finalized the recipient distribution process, which would take all day, Dan and Darren explored some more of the village, where they came across two knife sharpeners. Do you think we'll do this better? I oh, know, good better. Yeah, boy, you got it. That's so cool. I low-key. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I low-key want to try that. I want to try that. That looks awesome. That looks awesome. That awoke, like, the, the Viking within me. I really, really want to try that. That is, that is pretty cool. Now for the ultimate test. If they bring us a chicken. No, no, they won't bring us a chicken. <laughs> We got a crowd gathered behind. We're going to see who did a better job sharpening the knife. If we roll the footage back, you'll clearly see that someone was... Bro, 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 bro. Poor chickens, man. Poor chicken. Wait, so they're going to test out the knives. Couldn't they do it on a fruit? Why a chicken, man? So they're going to... I assume they're going to cut off, like, the head, the chicken. And what if the knife is not sharp enough? Then the chicken just... Suffer. Oh, bro, that's brutal. Assisting Darren, sharpening his Please knife. let me be wrong. The hard work. <laughs> this is a professional doing it. Yeah. Okay. And now. Oh, maybe I was wrong. Turn. I was wrong. I was wrong. That's cool, though. Hey, champion. Yeah, yeah, I Not wanting to accept defeat, Darren wanted to redeem himself. Throughout Africa, it's typical for people to carry their stuff on top of their heads. Dan and I are going to try to do this. I never understood how you do that. I've actually heard that it's not as difficult as it sounds once you like get the hang of it. I feel like that's how everything is. Once you get the hang of it, then you got it. But that, like, I could not do that. I, I, I man, Yola, if you're from Africa, bro, you're built different, bro. I, I would not be able to do that. Oh my! Oh. <laughs> wait. No, no way. <laughs> oh, uh. Are you got? Uh, it's your hands off of it. Yeah. How are you doing it? Okay. You ready? <laughs> uh, I won. That would be me. No way. Okay. Darren won that one, but he's back. How are you doing that? <laughs> I wouldn't be. I, I can't do that neither. I never tried, Early but the I can't. Next morning, it was time for the distribution. It's all come down to this moment. All of the money is going to be transmitted in about ten minutes. These people are finally being given an opportunity to escape the poverty that they've had to fight their entire lives. But out of everyone in the village, Joseph was the most anxious. He knew just how life-changing this grant would be for him and his family. This was the moment they had been waiting for, and the entire community started to get nervous and excited. Why nervous? Might be a stupid question, but... That 
That's real joy. That's true joy right there. True happiness. If this does not make you if this does not make you feel some type of way like if this just just not like touch you in any way then I'm scared of you This really is such a transformational moment in so many lives this is opportunity not just for these people but for their children and the generations that follow Together with Give Directly we have been able to change the lives of thousands of people in this village Let's go! Hey. After getting the text message, it was time for the recipients to cash out the money. For hundreds of years going back, these people have not had opportunity. But now, moving forward, they have opportunity. A whole chain in history twisted. And they can now build a stronger future, not just for themselves, but for the generations that follow. And some of them have already started putting it to good use, like Ruth. Ruth is a powerful example of what this money is able to manifest. Before I received this money of Give Direct, I had children of which I was not able to help. I could not afford even medication. I was just a housewife, so life was hard. But despite the odds, Ruth was determined to pursue her dreams with the aid from Give Directly. She was given the opportunity to turn those dreams into reality and set herself and her children on the pathway to a brighter future. She, she built a store. Now able to use her entrepreneurial spirit and drive to improve herself, which will in turn improve her community as well. I am able to get up for my family. Yo, see, this is this is exactly what she's a clever girl, very very clever girl. This is exactly what you should do when you get a handful of money you didn't expect that you were like, you didn't expect to get this money. Now, boy, a lot of these people that get like an unreal amount of money like this like they don't they don't know what to do with it so they go spend it on stupid stuff you know you always got to think about you don't know what's going to happen tomorrow tomorrow is a new day and anything could happen anything good or bad you never know okay there's only one there's only one I was about to say person I don't want to say person but there's only one being that knows what happens tomorrow and that is god not us so the fact that she took this money i assume they didn't really say it but i feel like they're showing it and she built a store knowing that hey what if this ends what if what if all of a sudden they leave and they take this away from us i'm not saying they would that's definitely not what i'm saying but you got to think like that what if so she took that money and invested it into a store now she has the income no matter what happens pretty much that is that is really really clever, really smart. It's, and right now, life is just simple. It's not like the very way that I knew before. But Ruth isn't the only one who put her money into starting something amazing. A uh, good. Mia Uma, a woman who has dedicated her life to education. After years of grueling work and saving every penny, she finally had enough money to buy land. And with the help of the payments from Give Directly, she was able to build classrooms, toilets, and even hire seven teachers. And today, this school has an attendance of more than two. Amazing! Children. That is the money amazing. Was also used in a much-needed pharmacy in the community, help pay for school fees and uniforms for thousands of children, and even build homes for hundreds of families. And these are only a very few examples of how this money was spent. When these people are given the smallest opportunity, they seize it and they jump on it right away, knowing that they now have an opportunity that they never had before. Is see now that's the difference between real struggle and a lot of us that says we're struggling now don't get me wrong there is definitely people also in the western world who are struggling and i mean struggling don't don't get that wrong like don't 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 twist my words but when you really really come from poverty or like from from struggle so often you're not going to be the person once you get an opportunity to just throw it away, you're actually going to seize the opportunity. You're going to grab it by the throat and you're going to build something out of it. You're going to force this opportunity to work for you. 
that sounded a bit mean, but in a good way, like you're going to build something. You're actually going to change your life because you don't ever want to go back to living like you used to live. So now that you have an opportunity, you're actually going to do something about it. Then you have the people that say that they come from all of this. But when it really comes down to it, they actually had a pretty decent life. Now they have this money. A lot of those people will end up worse than they were before. Because they're just going to go spend it on stupid stuff. Drugs, cars. All of that type of gambling. Like, I'm not saying you can't treat yourself. Don't do drugs. But, like, I'm not saying you can't buy a car or you can't. But but just make sure to build a foundation first. Like, make sure that no matter what happens, when, like, should this be over, you still have an income. You still have something that, that generates money for you and your family. Please. It's probably one of the most inspiring and motivating things that I've ever experienced in my life. I could imagine. To round off the trip, Darren visited one more school, which with Give Directly's contribution was able to go from 650 students to over 980 in one week because their parents could now pay school fees and buy uniforms. Hey! You can hear the thunder right behind me. It had actually just started raining, but as soon as the children started singing, the clouds cleared and it's bright over here. That was quite an I amazing call that God. I call that God. Hey, I didn't know this would turn into a reaction. Skepticism was unfounded and that there are so many new ideas for us to consider for how we can all build a brighter future together. But there's Thanks. plenty more need. So we're teaming up with Give Directly to deliver cash to another village just a mile away. If you want to help, click the donate button or go to givedirectly.org slash fees so we can help more Ugandans in need together. Legendary. Subscribe. Legendary, legendary, legendary. Let's make this a bit smaller again. Whoop. There we go. Legendary Mr. Beast, thank you for everything that you're doing. You're providing amazing content, entertainment, and not only that, you are doing something extremely good for this world. Whether it's helping people in need, whether it's planting trees, like, bro, you are really, really doing an amazing job. And I salute you for that, my brother. Hey, thank you so much for watching this. Don't worry, by the way, I forgot to say it in the beginning of the video more music reactions is coming there's just not been that many new like songs released so don't worry i got a ton of stuff coming for you guys don't think that we're done with the music i can't like bro y'all are crazy man y'all are y'all are actually crazy like i can't i can't just take one day off and and like and react to like something like this without y'all going crazy now with the one day off type thing see that's why i salute you that's why we're a family that's why you're my brother or my sister because you don't allow that i go and and just slag you know like that i just uh, you don't allow that i can't do that because of you guys this is like a unique community that we have right there like this is more than just like you watching me we we're a family i will get a slap by my community by the happy gang if i don't do what i need to do that's 100 percent sure like certain now ladies and gentlemen if you did enjoy this and you're not a part of the happy gang all you gotta do is click that little like yellow square right there then you're subscribed and that's all you had to do thank you so much for watching this man i'm out yeah yeah put up i don't hang with rats that's some new type shit